Hey loves, welcome into your read for Thursday, Throwback Thursday. I hope you guys are having a good day. You guys, if this message has found you, it has not found you by mistake, but I do hope that it finds you guys doing absolutely great, okay? So let's get into it for Thursday's energy. I am still pulling a few cards off camera here for you guys, and let's get into it. Okay, so, so far out, you guys, um, Emotional Roller Coaster is out here. Okay, and we got slander and false accusations. You guys, this card has come out every day this week. Somebody is really working double time trying to slander your name. Okay, I don't, I, I don't know who this is. I don't know what, why they're doing this. Um, but I just have to read the energy. Okay, and actually, God is like, pull the card behind this one. Hold on. Oh, they're doing it because you're a shining star, okay? So th three days in a row, at least, we've seen this energy coming through where someone's trying to slander you, okay? Now, what they're doing, this slander camp smear smear campaign, okay? It's not successful, all right? Yeah, you've, yeah, no, you've claimed your independence. You've broken all the way free and you're actually entering a new beginning. You're receiving something, a new start, new beginning, um, something like that, all right? So the other energy that is out here, you guys, is precognition, which talks about psychic ability and future vision, okay? Um, so I'm gonna read these energies that I have off, you know, that I'm pulling these cards off camera and then um, we will get into the messages that I have in my notes, okay? Welcome, you guys. Like I said, if y'all are new, welcome in and let's get it. Okay, abundance is also out here and it says fortune, wealth, and plenty, okay? Sacred action is out here, okay? Decisive focus, okay? So what I'm getting here is that there's something that you guys are gonna be guided to do, very particular here, okay? And it's gonna, it's going to open up a door for you, okay? Um, to your manifestation okay you guys all right okay give me just a minute now i got the nine of pentacles and i have the ace of wands out here so that's why i said you guys have really claimed your independence the nine of pentacles is someone who is independently okay working towards this goal or uh, working on this project okay and that energy actually came through in the read for wednesday uh, where you guys had chose to do something without the influence of anybody else, okay? Um, you guys decided to stand on your own, and it looks like you guys are seated on your throne very comfortably in doing so. I feel like whoever you are, you really made a name for yourself, okay? Um, and like I said, you've also allowed for this Ace of Wands to come through, which is a new beginning, okay? Um Okay, so your song that's out here is Young Dolph. It's called, well, it's by Young Dolph. It's called Preach. And on this card, it says, beg your pardon, okay? Um, maybe somebody said you wasn't popping. Shout out to T.I., okay? Somebody said you wasn't popping, and it's like, I beg your pardon, okay? Um, that song, Pardon, is coming through, even though I didn't pull that, but that's coming through right now, okay? Um, now, the other song that came out, you guys, is Anthony Hamilton. It's called I'm Ready, Okay. I'm Ready by Anthony Hamilton. And we have the energy or spirit of the giraffe. So we have this energy coming out and that's talking about seeing the bigger picture. Okay, so I feel like you guys have this ability to see the bigger picture through precognition, precognition, through your psychic ability. Okay, so it's like you guys are, y'all are vision focused. You guys are, God has really put a vision or spoke a word into you. And it's like, there's nothing that is, Y'all got your blinders on, okay? Y'all got your blinders on. And it's like, you guys are forward focused. You guys are future focused. Y'all are not letting anybody stop you from achieving this goal or reaching this prize, okay? Archangel Michael energy is out here again. So you guys are, you guys are considered this, y'all are in the energy of Archangel Michael, okay? This is the great captain, the leader of the heavenly host. Y'all are leading, okay? You guys considered uh, are considered um, leaders, okay? Now, this card came out. It says, in one lifetime, you will love many times, um, but only one love will burn your soul forever, okay? And maybe that's what it is. You guys have a love for the divine that is greater than any other love. And you guys aren't allowing any other thing to distract you from that energy. That's what I'm seeing. And it looks like you guys are in some very abundant energy as you move through this space, okay? Okay, confirmation spiritual belts. 
All right, one more time. Mm, excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. All right, I just seen an orange butterfly outside my window, okay? So the divine wants me to tell you guys about this dream I had last night, okay? Um, y'all, today's Sunday that I'm recording these reads, so I had this dream Saturday night, okay? Um, I don't remember all the details of this reading except for the fact that a bird flew into my house and sat on my shoulder, okay? And it looked like, like it was like a, it wasn't a black bird. It was like a brown bird or, or maybe a robin or something like that. Um, but it just, it just came right in and flew like on some Snow White stuff. It just flew right to me and sat on my shoulder. And at first I was like, am I going to be scared of this bird? And then and like, I was like, no, I'm not afraid of this bird. It's like the bird wasn't scared of me and I wasn't scared of the bird and it just sat on my shoulder and I was I was like let me free this bird like I want to walk the bird outside okay and that's what I began to do and as I was walking the bird outside y'all I woke up okay so I was going to take the bird to my front door and free him he came in through a hole in the wall which I don't know y'all but anyway he, this that's how the dream went okay <laughs> that's how the dream went so you guys, when we're talking about birds, we're talking about um, divine messenger energy, okay? So it's like, I feel like there's divine messenger energy that knows that you're not afraid of it and that comes to you because it's not afraid of you and you're not afraid of it and you guys are going to be co-creating, okay? So pay attention to the messages that you receive right now as they could become very potent, very powerful, okay? Um, yeah. Oh, I'm hearing an even very pleasurable to experience. Okay. So, wow. Okay. I'm hearing like a melody in your ear. Okay. Wow. So these could be lyrical messages, like music me messages through music even. All right. That I could be sensing here. All right. But, um, yeah, like the bird, you know, he just came right up to me and just got right on my shoulder and sat there. And I was like, hi, birdie, I'm going to free you now. <laughs> I'm going to take you outside. And as I was walking down the hall to my front door, the bird just, I mean, I just, I woke up. He sat there and I woke up. So he didn't actually get freed. Oh, I'm seeing the number 33. Some of you guys could be life path number 33s like me. Okay, that's master number 33s. You guys could be considered um, at mastery, a level of, ma maybe you guys are going to be receiving divine messages at a, ma a master level. A level of mastery mm, cuz that just like that person just walked through and on their back of their sweatshirt big ass 33 on it okay so anyway um my notes let's get into the notes so a very reputable person is going to be the title of this read for we're on Thursday right for third throwback Thursday okay um so you guys we got the energy of justice we got the energy of Hierophant, and we have the energy of the unk or aka the will of fortune okay so it's letting me know the will is turning here all right now the energy of kermit the frog came through y'all know kermit he be sipping his tea okay so there could be something about some tea that's very significant on thursday all right um but he did come through so the portal days that rung a bell or were very significant for this read in particular are going to be um 1122 so the one that we had november 22nd the one that we had on november 29th because i feel like those dates have passed i know november 22nd has the 29th we could be on or around that as you guys are receiving this message um and then the december 3rd and december 12th portals will be very significant okay god says prepare to welcome a new Okay, so you guys are going to be or the new, but he said a new. So I don't know what this is that's new that you guys are about to welcome, but just prepare to receive it, prepare to welcome it. Okay, um, for some of you guys, this could be a new baby, or this could be a new passion project, or this could be a new assignment. Um, this could be a, a new job, this could be a new car, a new home. I'm not sure, but prepare to welcome a new. I feel like for each of you all, it will be different. Okay, but it's going to be new, and you guys prepare to welcome it in we got the ace of wands out here so we know we welcome in something new a new start um it's new okay brand new all right 
Um, so this is something y'all need to know. Okay. Um, so this will be a major life change. Whatever this is that's coming in that's new, it's not small. Okay. It's not small at all. Okay. Because God says this will be a major life change. Okay. So take that as it resonates. I can't wait for you guys to find out what that is. I can't wait for myself to find out what that is. I'm excited. Um, I feel like that's the feeling you guys should be feeling is excitement. Okay. Um, all right. Doing good on time. 1134. Okay. So lastly, it says there is an abundance of wisdom that is surrounding you or your name or your legacy and or your reputation at this time. Okay. So that goes back to that divine messenger energy. Something about that is highly significant. I can't wait till these messages premiere so that I can be able to be like, ah, I know what that was. You know what I mean? Because even though I'm sitting here and I'm reading this energy for you guys and I'm channeling these messages to you all, I don't all, I don't know all the details, you know? So I just give you guys what I, um, intuitively feel that it is as I am an empath and an intuitive reader. So it's a vibe where, um, you know, I'm a psychic as well. So it's this energy where y'all I'm having these premonitions and these precognitions, and I don't know exactly what they're meaning, but by the time this message airs, you guys, I'll be like, aha, <laughs> aha. <laughs> so you guys could be having an aha moment. All right. Uh, but anyway, you guys, this has been your read. You guys are considered a very reputable person. Um, so kudos to you. Y'all know I'm going to snap it up for y'all. Okay. I love snapping it up for my gang. I love you guys so much. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this read. And I will see you guys in the message for Friday, y'all. Friday is going to get deep. We're about to get off into these 13 realms. God has already spoke to me about what the realms are. And he's slowly but surely breaking down each one of them to me. So I can't wait to premiere the energy for you guys for Friday as we embrace the energy of the court realm. Okay. So y'all look for that coming up on Friday and I'll see y'all back then. Love you guys.